Hi, I'm Adam Renaton from Silicon Republic and today I'm going to be taking a look at the HTC Titan with Windows Mango operating system. The first thing to notice uh, about the HTC Titan is the obvious size that, that it actually is. Uh, with a name like Titan, you probably would be expecting the phone to be fairly big. Uh, the dimensions measure out at just over 130 millimeters by 70 millimeters, uh, and it's about it's just less than 10 millimeters in depth. Now, to actually compare this with um, you know the more uh, upmarket smartphones that are on the market, um, let me just put the iPhone 4S here to compare them. Uh, the iPhone 4S is a three and a half inch screen, uh, whereas the HTC Titan is measuring in with a, a 4.7 inch screen. The screen resolution isn't as good as the iPhone 4S. Um, the iPhone 4S is, is over 300 pixels per inch, whereas the HTC Titan is, is measuring in with about 200 pixels per inch. Uh, also, uh, it only comes in at about 480 by 800 in resolution. Now I'm just going to take you round the HTC Titan uh, to just show well, where everything is. Um, they haven't made much use of the actual outer shell of the device. Um, on the left hand side of the device here is only the charging point for the micro USB. Uh, on the right hand side then is, is the camera uh, button for taking the images and also the volume and the zoom controls. Uh, underneath then, where you would be expecting this to be a slide panel, it, it's actually the entire back of the phone will come off. So if we just press this, it should pop out. Now, the cover itself is fairly thick, which uh, leads me to believe uh, they should have really gone for a, a sleeker design for the phone. With it being uh, fairly depth and fairly big anyway, they could have saved space on this. Um, the other thing to really notice when you take a look inside is there's no slot for an actual micro uh, SD card. So you're basically stuck with uh, the memory that's installed in the phone. Now it is 16 gigs uh, to begin with, but you can't expand on it. And considering the operating system will probably ease into about two gigs of that, you're down to less than 14 already. So I'll just put this back on. Now, the camera placement as well is, is a little off. Um, you can see it, it is raised a small bit out from the actual back, which means that when you put it down, it's the first thing that comes into contact with the surface. So it's going to lead to a lot of scratching on the camera. Okay, so I'm just going to take you through some of the uh, search features that's available on the HTC Titan. So obviously with it being a, a Windows Mango operating operated phone, uh, the search is going to be run by Microsoft, so the, uh, the designated search that's installed in it is, uh, is Bing. So we have a regular search uh, from Bing, so you can type in what you're actually searching for. But what the phone also includes is a number of uh, voice activated and also visual searches that you can do. So the first one I'm going to show you is just uh, the QR code. So if you click on the little eye icon down here, we'll just hover it over the, uh, the QR code that's there, and you see it's, it's picked it up already. So we just click on that. It's a bit of a shameless plug, but this is Silicon Republic's uh, Google Plus page, and it's just gone through to siliconrepublic.com there. And the next thing I'm going to show you as regards the visual image, uh, if we just close this one down for now. So this is a, a sign that's in Spanish at the moment, so this is going to be very handy for anyone that's heading uh, away for Christmas. So we'll just focus this in on the text. We do a scan text there. It's picked up the sign. So you see it's picked up all the, the words that it's found there. So if you just click Translate, you'll see it's translated it straight to English. And another thing that you can do for searching, if we just go back to the main search there, uh, there's a little uh, voice activated search that's in here. Now it's, it isn't Siri, so you won't be able to talk to it and communicate to it, but it will do a fairly comprehensive search for what you're looking for. So I'm just gonna search for Silicon Republic using the voice control. So I'll just click here, Silicon Republic. So there we go, found it straight away. Now the operating system is, um, it's the new Windows Mango is what they've called it. Uh, essentially it's, it's Windows uh, Phone 7.5 operating system. 
and it does run fairly well on the HTC. I mean, the, the HTC itself features a 1.5 gigahertz Scorpion processor and there's uh, 512 megabytes of RAM. Not the biggest amount, but the, the operating system itself isn't too power hungry, so it does zip along. Um, as you can see here, the, the actual design of the interface is becoming synonymous with Windows Phone 7 operating system. It's uh, kind of well-positioned building blocks, if you were. So to actually uh, put these in, it's just a case of selecting where you want them to go. So you can just drag them and, and position them wherever you want. So I'm just going to put this one up here for now. And you can do the same with this. So it's kind of different to the way Android and the way the uh, iOS would operate, which is a continuous side swipe of everything, whereas this just has the two of them. So it's your main screen where you select what you want to use. But also, this is a selection of everything. So you can just select and pin it to the start. So it will appear in your main, uh, your main focus here. So the first HTC application we'll see on the phone here is, is HTC Watch, which they have started rolling out in Ireland from about uh, May of this year. So it will update itself with various trailers, uh, but you can also download films and series to that. Uh, another thing HTC are also pressing ahead with is this HTC Hub. So you'll be s this is kind of synonymous with uh, HTC phones, the, the various clock settings and also the um, the local weather, so it also pulls in the likes of Paris, Seattle and London there. Uh, it'll also uh, gather stock information from Yahoo Finance. Uh, there's news, but also you can pick up featured items, so you're able to install the ones you want to see. So there's HTC Watch, uh, there's Photo Enhancer and, and all the other uh, HTC applications that come with the phone. Now, from a Microsoft perspective, uh, what they've actually done uh, with the operating system, and it's something I did highlight when I actually picked up the old uh, Omnia 7 with Windows Phone 7 operating system, uh, it, it's the contact integration that I found really useful. Um, so what you do is you sign in with your various accounts. So it'll pick up the names from your SIM cards, uh, contacts from Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and so on. It'll do its best to try and match them to each other. Uh, the one criticism I have with it when they've moved to uh, 7.5 or Mango is a lot of the restrictions and a lot of the content and security has become a, a little bit frantic, uh, for want of a better word. So I'm just going to take you through the process of how this happens. Uh, you just sign in uh, to email and accounts. So as you see, I have a, a Windows Live account. Uh, my Google account is signed to it and Facebook. But it, it's really when I tried to add the Twitter account that I came to a bit of frustration. I'll just try it again here. So initially it comes up that Twitter on your phone will need to connect to Windows Live account, which is kind of standard for everything else that happens. But when you go through to the application, uh, you're met with a number of conditions which I found fairly frustrating. Uh, I've never been one to actually sign up to Facebook apps because of the conditions and what they actually enable you to do. On the Twitter application for this, you'll see it enables uh, the application to read tweets on your timeline, see who you follow and follow new people, and update your profile for you. So this isn't something I was willing to agree to, so I just click no thanks. But it will send you straight back into the application. So it's kind of frustrating to actually do this. So if you are setting up the phone in this instance, uh, just be sure to know that you're able to still get Twitter as an application from the Microsoft Marketplace. So I would recommend trying to use that one if you don't agree to the security settings. The camera that comes with the HTC Titan is a, an 8 megapixel camera and it is actually very good. Uh, I'm just going to show you a few photographs that I did take uh, just over the weekend here. So just this one here. Now it's, uh, it's a little bit of an odd photograph, but I think it's, uh, it's best just to show you how far in you can zoom without losing any of the standard of the photograph. But one thing that is included with this is this photo enhancer software that uh, HTC have put in. So there are a number of default settings that you can use for this. So just overexposed there. And the photographs do actually come out very well when you're using this.
Now I'll just go back to the camera for a second. So you won't be able to see much through this now, but there is the back camera, which is 8 megapixels, but there's also a front-facing camera, which is uh, 1.3 megapixels, so there's Connor. <laughs> uh, but also the ability to... There's video recording, which comes out at uh, a 720 progressive, but you can also use the front-facing camera to record the video, which is something I haven't actually seen on any other smartphones. So there we have it, that was the HTC Titan, uh, which will be available from Vodafone on Build Pay this Christmas.